continue with the next talk. Um, as our next speaker, I'm uh, very happy to announce Song Soon from the Institute for Advanced Studies in Mathematics in Zhejiang University and University of Berkeley. And uh, he will tell us about small structure degeneration of uh, Calabi-Yau metrics. Please. Thank you very much for the in introduction. Um, and uh, um, I would like to thank the organizers for inviting me. Um, it's a great pleasure to be back to the ICTP after uh, 12 years. Last time was in t 2012. So uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a small complex structure degeneration of Calabial matrix. Um, this is based on um, work five years ago. Um, which was joined with uh, uh, Robin Zhang, who was an uh, assistant professor in Princeton. Um, and uh, um, one year before, actually, we, we wrote an, another paper joined with Hein and Vyakolovsky, um, which is uh, it's related um, it's, uh, in, in dimension two, the baby case. So this talk uh, is uh, concerned with Calabial, uh, about a, a matrix. So um, I'm a differential geometer. Um, so I, I will I will talk about the uh, uh, matrix. So um, so what is a small complex structure degeneration? So this is a, um, a simple uh, family of. Uh, um, this is just to give an example. It's a family of hypersurfaces in the projective space. Um, so it's parameterized by T. Um, so you, you choose a, a, a generic uh, uh, polynomial Q of degree M plus 2, um, and then two um, polynomials of uh, lower degree um, F1, F2. So when T is not zero, this is. Uh, when t is uh, close to zero but not zero, this is smooth. And t equals zero, this splits into uh, two parts. So this is a pretty simple. Um, this is an algebraic uh, family. So this is a picture. Um, so I've uh, looked uh, uh, complicated, but uh, I mean, co color-wise, there are it's very colorful. Um, so this is not a. Uh, uh, we, we, we will make use of this later. Um, so, so remember this. So this, this uh, D is a intersection of the two components on the on the degenerating uh, on the degenerated fiber on the central fiber. We can use this red color, or that's not look red. It looks like I don't know orange. Um, So there's also this thing, H, which is uh, the intersection of this, all these three polynomials. Um, so this is, uh, this is certainly on the central fiber, but it also lies on all the general fibers. Um, so it's, 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 it's why this blue thing is it's, it's always there um, on all the fibers. And uh, implicitly, you, you can see that this, this, if you, you put all of them together as a total space, this is actually uh, not smooth. It's singular exactly along this, uh, uh, this point, uh, a special blue point on the central fiber. So it's pretty um, simple. Um, so, and then, uh, uh, when t is small but not zero, um, on this uh, xt, on this general fiber, uh, we can use Yao's uh, proof of a Calabi conjecture. It gives us a unique uh, calabi yau metric um, in the cohomology class, which is uh, proportional to the, the fubini studi metric. These are hypersurfaces. Um, and we normalize it so that the diameter is one. So this uh, um, Calabial metric, they are rich flat, so they, they, you, can, you, can, you can dilate it. And so one has to, um, 
to, if you want to really understand the geometry of a family of them, uh, one has to choose a scale. So the scale now is which, which this is a minimal possible scale with diameter equals one. So this is a theorem. So um, this is a picture. So um, it's even more complicated than than the previous one, but then. Um, the, the thing that I want to, the, my, my goal is very modest in this lecture, I just try to explain what this picture means. Um, so, um, so, so I, I, the, the more precise statement will come later, um, but right now, just see that th this thing, uh, you, can, you should think of this as a, as, as a picture for the metric when t is very small, uh, and so, the, the whole thing is actually um, very, very close. If, 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 if you look in the microscopic scale, it looks really like just an interval. It's a one-dimensional object. Um, but then, um, if, if you dynamically think of this as t goes to zero, all this uh, thing, I mean, they, they, they collapse down. The, 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 all these the, the fibers, you think of this as a vibration over the interval, as a map of, to the interval. The, these fibers, they, they, are, they are actually ho all have very small diameter. Um, so there's also colors here. So this color uh, actually is related to the color in the algebraic picture. So um, before we, we, we explain this picture, we, we need to uh, do some preparations and, uh, and introduce some languages. Uh, what do we mean by, by convergence? So, um, a Calabial matrix, a Riemannian matrix with a holonomy group um, contained in a special unitary group. So this uh, is, is an example of a matrix with special holonomy. So these are, um, these are um, very special uh, remaining metrics, and in particular, they, they, they have vanishing Ricci curvature. Um, if, if you want to understand it in terms of complex geometry, one, one can fix a complex manifold, say X, and then um, so we have a, a family of a, of a pair of, of, of two objects. One is the um, little omega, which is a killer form. A capital omega is a holomorphic uh, uh, n form, so it's a um, holomorphic volume form, and the equation in, can be written uh, simply as uh, the you just you just cook up the top forms from the Keller form and from the holomorphic form. They ha they, they are proportional um, by constant. Um, so no, no, normally we. So, um, so omega, capital omega is is a, is a holomorphic thing. It's a, it actually include, encodes the complex algebraic da data. So, so often, if we're giving examples uh, such as this hypersurface gamma, we can write down them explicitly uh, in terms of equations. And the, the, the main thing is this little omega, this scalar form. So the, the, this should be viewed as an equation uh, for, for, for little omega. So uh, locally, little omega is determined by a, a real value function potential function phi, and then the form of the equation uh, looks like uh, this. You, you take the, 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 this Hessian, um, complex Hessian of phi, um, takes a determinant, it's equal to some um, given function e to the psi. Um, so this is a pretty difficult uh, um, partial differential equation. It's, it's, it's fully nonlinear. Um, but you can view this as a, a long linear version of the of the Laplace equation. If you replace it determined by trace, then this would be the Laplace equation. So uh, when 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 this manifold X is compact, then uh, Yao theorem gives a unique uh, little omega solving this uh, uh, equation, uh, which is a uh, cohomologous to a, a given Keller form. Um, so, so this is a, a PDE result, it's an existing result. So um, very rarely uh, one can write down um, explicit equation for 
uh, for little omega. So in an upper actual talk, um, so he mentioned that in when, when x has dimension one, and it's an elliptic curve, you can, you can write down um, this little omega, but uh, in higher dimensions, uh, um, it's, uh, it's not known whether we can find an uh, explicit formula for this metric. Um, so, so the standard example is a hypersurface in the complex project space. And you were given omega, then you, given f, you will get omega f. Uh, and then uh, when you can vary f, then um, this you, will get, you can vary this omega f. Um, so, so, so when you vary f, you're really changing the complex structure, um, changing the holomorphic form. So little omega also changes. So when f degenerates become singular, then little omega f can also become singular. Um, so the example of degeneration, so you can more generally, uh, you can do splits into um, k components. So when k equals... Uh, um, M plus two, which is maximum, this is, uh, this is not large complex structure degeneration. Um, so when k equals two, uh, so that's why this name, small complex structure degeneration. Um, so I gave a talk in 2019 in front of an uh, audience. Um, I just uh, cook up this. Uh, it's his name, Small, and I asked for a better name, but it seems there's no better name, so we just call it the Small Complex Structure Generation. So, so we require this uh, n uh, at least a two, because when n equals one, that's, that's different. We'll see later. Um, the main question that uh, we're inter interested in is to relate the, the differential geometric uh, singularity form formation of little omega f to the algebraic generation of f, I recall this algebra generation is pretty um, explicit. Uh, so what we mean by, by, by singularity formation of, of this uh, matrix, uh, so this is a terminology, Grom of Hausdorff convergence. So this is a definition. A sequence of compact matrix spaces. Um, Converge to a limit if uh, if this holds, um, but may, roughly speaking, it just says that if uh, um, if you look at it in the when J is very large, this M J and M infinity um, looks uh, similar in terms in term, in the sense that if if we ignore this uh, um, small uh, epsilon J um, error, if you allow this epsilon J error then they, they, they're basically the same. Um, so this is a very rough uh, um, topology. So these maps, uh, we only require they are, they, are, they are maps. They're not necessarily continuous. So there's no topology, uh, no algebraic geometry. It's, it's just the, um, oh, sorry. i show pictures a bit later. Um, so, this is just metric spaces, give you a measure the distance and length. The example, so this is a, um, and you a family of uh, two-dimensional objects. So here, this part uh, is getting smaller and smaller in the end, it form a, a conical singularity. Um, so this is an example. Uh, so, so in the previous example, the the dimension I mean, the limit is very is singular, has a singular point, but this is smooth uh, elsewhere, and the dimension does not change. Uh, but in general, dimension can also change. So um, here, this is a this this family. Um, in the end, they converge to a. Two-dimensional family converging to a one-dimensional object. Um, there's also this, this kind of thing is not always guaranteed. If you give an, a random family of uh, metrics, where you, you don't get a limit, so here you you, you introduce these spikes and you introduce more and more. In the end, 
um, you don't get uh, any any limit. Yeah. So in our case, these metrics they are richly flat. So um, and and then uh, we have the this Gromov uh, pre compactness in this topology. And the key point is that this Ricci flat, in particular Ricci is uh, non-active. So this is important in, in Riemannian geometry. It implies that if you, if you take uh, any point, you take a radius R ball around the point, geodesic ball, um, you take the volume. So this volume, uh, if you compare with the Euclidean ball, um, then this ratio is actually uh, decreasing when R increases. Um, Bishop-Gromov inequality. And this, using this, just by some elementary argument, one can um, uniform approximate this uh, uh, manifold, this Riemannian manifold, by, by, by discrete uh, metric spaces and in all scales. And then for discrete spaces, this uh, metric is just a bunch of numbers and then bounded numbers, and then you can easily take limits. So this is uh, the idea of uh, Gromov house of um, convergence. So in our setting, we can fit into this, uh, this, this topology. We can always take, talk about uh, limits. But then the, the question is, wh what, what structure do we have about this limit? What are these limits? This is a very pretty abstract uh, thing. Um, and uh, um, we can we don't just take the limit. We also want to understand the finer uh, structure, as the uh, previous uh, picture, like this one shows. In the, the there, are, there are things that that disappears in the limit. If you just take the limit, you don't see this uh, this process. So um, this, uh, we have to generalize this to to, to rescale the limits. Um, Calabial metrics admit natural rescalings. So, um, if, if, it, if you change the scale, the limits may be different. So, um, so the definition has to be extended to the case when the time is not necessarily bounded. So this is a, a standard. It's just uh, you, rec you, 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 have, you pick a base point in each metric space, and you, you say this, this has a limit to, to something. If, uh, if, 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 if all balls are uh, fixed radius around this, uh, um, Fixed point converge to the corresponding ball in the limit. Picture. So this one, if if you if you now increase this uh, um, this length, uh, but you, you, your 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 fixed point, the base point is on the left. Then in the end, you just see this uh, non-compact uh, um, limit. But if you choose a different base point, if you to the base point in the middle, then um, you will see this uh, two ends. So th this is, they will give you a variety of uh, of limits. So by, by 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 looking at all the scales and all its base choice of base point, you you you, you in principle should you should be be able to see all the information of this uh, singularity formation. One last piece of data is there's a uh, also um, beside metric there's also mirror natural mirror defined on this uh, on this um, manifolds so um, it's essentially just the volume mirror of the metric but because of the equation the volume form is, is uh, can be described in terms of the holomorphic form so this mirror actually can be defined without using the metric it's just the uh, omega t, which conjugate of omega t, and normalize so that it becomes a probability measure. And uh, actually, um, under this gromov house convergence, you can also in encode this uh, measure, and then we get this uh, so-called uh, renormalized limit measure on the limit. So if if your if your space, uh, so th there is also a notion of dimension on the limit. If the space, uh, the dimension does not drop, this renormal limit mirror is, is basically just a household mirror in the limit. Um, but 
uh, if the space is collapsing to a lower dimension, then the volume, the total volume is going to zero. So one has to do this norm renormalization. So that's why this is called renormalized limit measure. And the limit metric mirror space, this is not just a metric space, also with a mirror. Um, so one can intrinsically make sense of uh, this have a non-active Ricci curvature. It's called a RCD space. I think it's, there are many people in Italy studying this, um, this theory of RCD spaces in mathematics. Um, and, and and there's, a, um, there's a study of uh, the limit spaces with uh, rich curvature has a lower bound this was uh, by Chigger coding and, and many others. So in general theory, this is the, the, there is this uh, um, fit into this general theory, uh, but by the, uh, this is only inequality, so you cannot make sense of the limit space as a, as a rich flat space. This is something um, not known in general. So why, I mean, yeah, so the, 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 the measure and the, the, the metric actually are independent of each other. So, so if, you, if you look at this kind of a, a limit, a limit um, before, then the limit is metric, just the standard metric on the interval, and the measure it's also the, the standard bigger mirror on the interval. Um, but if you, um, if you consider a slightly different family um, so of metrics, um, the, the mirror in the limit uh, is different. So this, this I mean, you can, you can do this, for example, you can take a, just take a R2, a flat R2, uh, you just quotient by 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 finite group, okay? By finite group of order k. That, that has singularity, but you can you can you can smooth out that singularity. Um, but if you let k go to infinity, then what's left is the, the, the if you, in terms of the polar coordinate, the theta direction will disappear. They only have r direction, but the the, the measure is r dr. It's not just dr. So the, the difference is that th this collapsing is, is like a uniformly. Oh. Distributed. The, the, the collapsing fibers have uh, almost the same um, lens um, everywhere. But here, it's, it's, it's not a, a case. So back to our um, degenerate family of Calabial metrics. Um, so we can talk about the Gromov house of limits and also in, in, with this measure. Um, so in our setting, it's known that the volume has to collapse. So re remember, we, 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 normalize it, we normalize the diameter to be one. So the volume has to be uh, going to zero. Uh, it's by, uh, sorry, I, I misspelled Van Tito's name, it's Tosati. Um, and then we can also uh, rescale this metric to pick base point and uh, pick in the scale lambda t and take limits. And then we, we see more refined structure in, in, in smaller scales. So a toy ex example is a case when n equals one. So this is, as I mentioned, this is not the, this is different from the case when n is bigger than one. So, um, so it, it, where is the picture? It's algebraic. Oh. Back. So here, it, it's, uh, uh, it's D, is an intersection of the two components, but uh, in in n equals one, this uh, two components has two intersections. Uh, not this, this D itself is not connected. So this is n equals one. So omega t is a metric is a flat metric on an elliptic curve. Um, 
as t goes to zero, um, this flat metric, we know that uh, the only possible degeneration is to uh, collapse to a circle, as this picture shows. Um, it's just abstractly, we know it, it has to be a s circle. The diameter equals one. Um, and the collapsing is a long, smooth uh, circle fibrin, you collapse the other circle. Um, so topologically, you see, you just observe that th this, this is the same as the so-called dual intersection complex of, the, uh, of this uh, X0. So th that, that, that's, that's some um, um, some space formed by, by looking that, at this uh, X0 and uh, um, for each component you associate a point, so you have two points. And when, when two components intersect, you, you, you connect the two points by a, uh, by a, in, by a, by a line. Um, so here you have two points, but you, ha you have two intersections, so you connect by two lines. So that, that gives you a circle topologically. So this is different from the case when n is bigger than one, where you only have uh, one component of intersection. So you, instead of a circle, you should get an interval. So this is a very naive uh, picture, but it, 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 it's actually uh, the motivation for, for, for the more um, difficult higher dimensional study. Here, uh, of course, the renormalized limit measure is just standard measure. Flat um, circles, um, and the rescaled limits. So, so if you, if you don't want this red circle to, to to collapse, you have to scale this red circle to have radius one diameter one. Then you get a um, you get infinite non cylinder, um, and this cylinder you, you can also be connected to. Um, the, the, the algebraic degeneration uh, in the sense that if you look at this uh, uh, x0, uh, so each, each, each component is actually a CP1. You remove two points, it's uh, a cylinder. And the xt itself, for t is small, it can be recovered from uh, gluing of these uh, flat cylinders. So. This is uh, very simple to observe. Um, so now I can explain the case when n is uh, at least two, and this picture is actually for the case when n equals two. Um, so this is, says that this, uh, um, space xt um, as t goes to zero, its Gromov of household limit is the in unit interval on the bottom. And topologically, it agrees with a dual intersection complex of uh, the central fiber x0. And also, um, so here we have uh, um, three colors. So there's this uh, green on the right, on the left, and this is uh, purple on the, on the middle. Uh, it's the uh, light blue. Um, so the, the, the space is, uh, uh, consists of three building blocks. So. Um, the two ends are different. They are, they were this complete Calabial matrix constructed by Tian Yao in 1990. And uh, there, in the middle, there's a neck region N. So I will explain what these are later. But for now, just to see, there are, there are three pieces. Where is the algebraic picture? I should have the algebraic picture. Oh, it's all gone.
algebraic pictures here. Um, algebraically, we see two components. There are three pieces. So what are, so when, 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 when what, how this is, uh, uh, this, this collapsing happens, so this is collapsing is a, a multi-scale collapsing. So there are three special points on the unit interval. There's zero, uh, one, the end points, and a special point in the middle called U star. So away from these three points, the collapsing is along a smooth fiber bundle. Um, so this, uh, for example, you can take, consider this, uh, this thing. So this, this, this is a smooth manifold. Itself is also, it's a circle bundle over, over D. D is this uh, red, red thing. This, this is a circle bundle. So, so this whole thing, this whole, whole fiber has to collapse to a point. Um, but it's a di different scale, so you can see that uh, the, this, 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 this D is much bigger than, than the circle. The circle collapses in, 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 a, in a faster rate than the, 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 the D, the base of the circle vibration. On the left. It's also similar. So, what about these endpoints? These endpoints, just, you just, this whole thing, so y1 minus, this is part of y1 minus, minus d. This whole thing goes to this point. It's not really a, 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 a I mean, there is a lot of topology here. And there's also a lot of topology here. They, all, they also go to just one point. You see that this is kind of a dichotomy. So most topology are actually concentrated in, in these ends, but, but they do not contribute to, to, to metric or measure. They, 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 all, they, they all converge to, to point. And this N is more interesting. This is a neck region. So, and there are all these blue, blue dots, blue crosses. Uh, so, if, if, you, if you remember in, in the beginning when I talk, say that this is an H, um, maybe I should review this. I should have put the picture also here. So, this is triple intersection, Q and F1, F2. So this H, um, blue, so so when n equals two, this h is just a bunch of points. Okay, so these these are these are blue blue points. So, so what happens here? So 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 this this thing you should should think of that there's a singular there's a singular fiber above this point the u star, and it's explicitly determined by the degree of the of, of the two polynomials. Um, so, so this, this, this fiber itself is a circle vibration. It's also over D, but this, is, this, this vibration is pinched um, along this locus H. So it's a singular circle vibration. Uh, if, if, you, if, you, if you now, I mean, this whole fiber also goes to this, this special point. Um, but now, uh, if you if you if you zoom if you, if you base choose your base point to be this uh, blue cross, um, if you rescale suitably, you will see something. Let's um, just call it a, uh, it's a product of a n, n minus two dimensional um, flat space times uh, top knot. So this is uh, um, topologically. Or even complex geometry is, is, is all, it's just C two. So the whole thing as a complex uh, uh, space is, is just a CN. It's, it's a, there's no no algebraic geometry, no interest in algebraic geometry. But the metrically, 
it, it's, it's, it's not a, it's quite non-trivial. It's not the flat metric, it's a top down metric. So I will explain this later, that's the goal. Um, for the rest of the talk, to so explain uh, what are these uh, Tian Yang metrics? How do we construct this neck routine? And what are these top notch metrics? Okay, so let's see. Once again, the picture. Um, so it took us 100 pages to, to prove this picture. Oh, so there's also this uh, normalized renormal limit measure. Just forget about this uh, formula, it's just to, to scare you. Um, but then uh, the main thing is you can already see from this picture that, that this, uh, this, 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 this measure is something interesting. It's not uniform distributed. The, the, the volume uh, is kind of, uh, there's a, there's a, it's curved and it's, uh, it has kind of, uh, um, uh, non-smoothness at this point, U star. Yeah. So the, what are these Tian Yao metrics? So um, so this, these are complete, uh, non-compact Calabi metrics. So this is a, uh, this is a, uh, um, it, 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 I mean, naively, you, you may think the Yao theorem just extend, um, but uh, uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, that's not the case. It's much more interesting in the in the non-compact case. So, if, so this is one setting. You take a Y to be a final manifold, um, and D to be a a smooth anti canonical divisor. So it's a normal bundle with denoted by L. So this is a, it's a, it's a positive for uh, nine bundle. And then by a junction, we know that D is Calabi L. Again, you can write down omega D, capital omega D explicitly, but normally little omega D, you have to rely to Yao theorem, but that's a one dimensional lower. So D is, a, is, is one dimensional lower than Y. And then we look at the neighborhood of D. Um, so it's, it's not exactly, but it can approximate by a neighborhood of, 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 of the zero section in the normal bundle. Um, but this omega D is essentially in the, um, in the, the cohomology class, first chain class of L, so it determines the Hermitian metric on the, on, on the on normal bundle. But now the, on, this, uh, uh, on this normal bundle, L, if you remove the zero section, um, so there's a natural holomorphic form, again explicitly, you just pull back the holomorphic form from D, and then you wedge a, a fiber, it's a natural uh, fiber uh, wise uh, so uh, form, metamorphic form on the, on the, on the, on the fibers. Um, it, it, is, uh, it is invariant and uh, the, the natural circle action which rotates the fiber. And then there's a uh, um, the Calabi ansatz. So this is um, a formula uh, which is give you a Calabi, Calabi metric. This is not a miracle. So what Calabi did is you, you just look for functions of the form uh, matrix, which is a form dd bar of a function of the norm squared of, of, of this s. S is a, is a point on, the, on, on, on L. And then you, just, you, you solve a, the, the, the equation becomes an ordinary differential equation and just solve it. You get, a, you get, you get this. Um, So it's, 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 it's complete as you move towards the zero section. So using this Calabi model at infinity and then um, Tian Yao extends Yao's proof to, to this non-compact setting. So can we solve the equation with uh, where the, on this non-compact uh, manifold, but you, you, uh, you know this, uh, the, 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 the you have uh, something to start with, so that something itself is uh, uh, almost uh, Calabi Yao at infinity. So, it's still a lot of uh, technical work, uh, but they constructed a, a complete Calabi metric on um, Y minus D, uh, which is asymptotic to little omega. A metric is not a, the metric, because uh, um, this is uh, something you construct by using this ansatz. It's not natural, it's not, it's not clear, 
that this metric is, is unique on this, uh, this non-compact. This, this is uh, always uh, difficult. Thank you. No, no, sorry. <laughs> I was, so I, uh, so I, I was, I, I thank the, uh, the chair for, for, for giving me a 10 minutes notice. <laughs> um, I have still have 10 minutes so I can still explain. Um, So the metric looks like this. It's just uh, um, the, the looks like the, the part on uh, near on the end of the of the picture before. So now the 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 the, the construction of the next region that's really the the heart of the work. Uh, but it, it's it's a, it's a, the idea is not complicated. So you recall that this D is sits inside x zero. Um, so on each component that you can apply ten yard construction, you get this uh, ten yard metric. But now if you look at the, the nearby uh, x t near d, uh, you can also approximate. This time not by 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 a, um, a subset of a line bundle, but by a subset of the direct sum of this. Uh, Two line bundles, the 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 y one component and y two component. Um, and it's cut out by this equation. Um, so you basically just uh, approximate uh, uh, everything by the restriction on on to d. So this 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 is uh, is it looks uh, similar to the equation for the for x t, except this is uh, now on this total space of this line bundle over D, and, and uh, um, this now admits a, if you project to D, uh, it's a conical, uh, conic vibration. The projection to, to this uh, NT, sorry. Uh, from NT to D is a C star vibration, and it's a singular over, exactly over this H. That's a natural C star invariant uh, Holomorphic form on this uh, uh, on this NT. And write down explicitly again, and they, then you can also ask a question whether you can find S1 invariant Calabrian metric on this uh, bundle. Uh, this metric even exists; it, it has to be incomplete. Um, so now I first explain the the baby case when n equals two. So here the Calabial metrics are hyperkähler, so that means SU2 equals SP1, and um, S1 invariant the Calabial metrics are given by gibbons hawking ansatz. Um, and the interesting thing is that the equation, I said the Calabial equation is the nonlinear Laplace equation, and now if you look at this case, then it becomes exactly the linear equation. And you can write down explicit uh, solutions. Of course, th these are not the compact. So away from the fixed point, the metric is given by uh, um, this part V. So it's a, you, take a, you take a domain in the flat R3, and you, you, you view this R3 as a complex uh, uh, C, direct sum, a real line, x, y, z coordinates are these natural coordinates. So this, you take this uh, uh, flat metric, and, uh, and then you choose a positive harmonic function um, on this domain, you just uh, you can conform or change the flat metric by v, and then you you this v is harmonic. The star d v is closer, and with uh, with, uh, with the right cohomological condition, it defines a circle bond, and then you, then you 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 choose a, a it determines a connection on the circle bundle, so you get a um, and you put the v inverse here. This is a, This is a Riemannian metric, and the complex structure, uh, you, the projection to this uh, x to this to this first uh, c, you can make this holomorphic, and then um, this becomes a, a Calabial metric.
the, this, is a, this is away from the fixed point. Near the fixed point, then we, we need to have singularities for V. And the V is, so if you want, if the space is smooth, then this V has to be of this form 1 over 2R plus a smooth function. So when, so the example is when, when, when you choose omega to be the whole R3, and V equals uh, exactly this 1 over 2R, then you get a flat metric on C2. Uh, and the projection map is just uh, this uh, product coordinates. And, if, and you can deform V by a constant, and that will not change the topology or the complex structure, but it will change the metric. So that's the, this uh, top knot metric. It's a deformation of the flat metric. And you can, you can, you can add uh, uh, two of these together, you choose different uh, poles. Uh, together, they, do, you form a space where you, it, has, it has, contains this uh, S2. Um, so, so you take a, so these are the two pole points. You take this interval, pre-image is a circle generically, and pinch two points, you get this non trivial So this, this was discovered much earlier by Blabi and Gucci Hansen. So now um, the, 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 this Calabi model space, this, this end of the Tianyao space, they, 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 are, they, they are also so-called invariant, so they correspond to uh, this function. Th this case, so you take a flat T2 times a array, and you take V to be the, the linear function on, 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 the, on, on the array, uh, then uh, you will get uh, this Calabi model. And then um, you look at this two, the pictures on the, on the two sides, they are these this models, they're both um, growing towards uh, the, uh, the interior. So we have to interpolate these two linear functions and the naive ways to, to interpolate like this. So, you, so that means you, you will need something which be, behaves like a linear function on both ends. And then this is just a standard uh, electricity. So you take a take a electric potential of k points on this uh, on this product this is green's function and uh, um, if you average it over the, the t2 fiber you, you will get a green's function on on the in, on, on, on one dimensional space and that's the it's just a piecewise linear function and you can see that this v will behave like this at uh, infinity and then uh, you can you can you can add the linear functions and then this will, um, but you want V to be positive. So this has only positive in the bounded domain. And that's exactly this uh, neck region. And you want this to have two ends to match the, the, the two TNL metrics. So this is a, um, this is a cousin of a so-called auguri Wafa metric, where you, you take omega to be S1 times R2. So that's, that's important in the work of Gross Wilson. Uh, when they study collapsing of color beyond metrics on uh, elliptic fiber K3 surface, these are um, local models around you know, a singular I1 fiber. So here, you, you, instead of S1 times R2, you take T2 times R. This is, uh, once again, the picture. Um, so there are difficulties when N is bigger than two. One is that if you, if you, you can still do this reduction uh, but uh, it's done by Matesi and Zakov, but the equation is still not linear. Um, and the idea is uh, to use uh, adiabatic limits. So when fibers are small, you can use a linear equation as an approximation, but then you, can, you have to deal with the nonlinear equation in the end. And uh, instead of uh, Green's function, you study is called Green currents. So this is, uh, you, you take the D times uh, R, and you take uh, H times zero, inside d times r, that's a co three three sub-manifold. Let me study this, uh, this green currents. Uh, it's much more complicated. Uh, but also, um, so, uh, the, you have, you, in order to fit into the algebraic geometric picture, one has to um, have three components. So, and it, does not, it was not seen from the original picture. One has to extract a new component uh, using the algebraic geometry. And uh, the, this result gives a possible inductive description of the geometry of Calabian matrix for special class of degenerations. So I have two more slides. So this is a conjecture. This is a um, rough conjecture. 
It's generalized the, 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 the conjecture of Gross Wilson and the conservative Soberman in the case of large complex structure limits. So in general, the group of Hausdorff limits of the Calabian matrix, the differential geometry objects should be related to certain non-Archimedean objects. So there are, there, are, there are important progress made by Yang Li and others, uh, which gives us some information about geometry in the generic region and in a more general setting. Uh, but um, again, for certain classes of degenerations. And there also, uh, this is uh, a uh, rescale of the Gromov household limits um, should also be related to uh, the algebra geometric uh, limits itself, it's classical algebra geometric ob objects. And there are progress by Yuji Odaka in, in the algebra geometric aspect. Okay, I finish here, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Are there questions? How, how really did you use the algebraicity of the Calabiao? I mean, in the sense, you, you gave, you, you, you certainly needed the structure of the central fiber of the degeneration, but if, if everything was actually not algebraic, you could actually give a similar description of the degeneration of the Calabi-Yau matrix? Yes, so um, uh, that, you, 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 you don't need to fit into the algebraic geometry, it's actually easier, you just, uh, so that's in the case when, this baby case when n equals two, um, so you just do a gluing construction at the level of matrix, that's actually easier. So you, you, you forget about the algebra geometry, you just say that there are, there are um, rich flat matrix that degenerate this way, then it's actually easier. So the, the here is, is a technical part, one of the technical is to fit into this, uh, uh, into the algebra geometric uh, family. So, so your discussion of the point towards the end, when n is greater than two, you obtained a nonlinear equation, uh, generates a Gibbons Hawking. And what was the statement about that? So can you prove the existence or? Uh? Yeah, we, we, we prove the existence uh, of um, so solutions uh, to that uh, equation, but when the fiber is very small. So, so you see the, right, so that's. I, I see, so, so for, for example, I wonder if there is a, I mean practically, uh, there is a way to uh, do the expansion uh, with respect to the volume. And then make we keep improving it and, and try to approximate the can, solutions and th that you can do, I would imagine, practically by solving it. Uh. Yes, so that, that's an interesting question. So we, we actually use, uh, I mean, the singular perturbation method, originally we want to do this expansion, as you said, but actually we, we ha we, we, that's not the way we did it. But, but we, one should believe there should be an expansion, but this expansion will not be uniform. I mean, it will be uniform, there are this region, I mean, Near a, away from H, it should be uniform, mm -hmm. but around H, it, it, it's actually different. So, it, so mm -hmm. it, yeah. So, so, so it's definitely interesting to to understand this uh, uh, this uh, um, th 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 this perturbation more explicitly. I see. Yeah. I, Thank you. Are there further questions? Yeah. Be very curious. So uh, within algebraic geometry or something like that, if you have some deformation, you wind up with some singular object, you could ask to reverse the process. You could say, okay, for my singular object, what deformations does it have? It is a very well studied problem. So is there any analog in this world? If I go to this Grom of Hausdorff limit, maybe I keep along this rescaled one. Uh, it, does the deformation question make sense? Can you ask where could it have come from and so on? Yeah, that's the, this, uh, what they call the gluing construction. So you, 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 you pick the objects, you glue them together, you graph them together and then you perturb to exact solution. So that's exactly how, you, I mean, in, in differential geometry, how you, you produce this. But of course, the, as similar to the previous question, it's much more complicated than, than you do algebraic geometric deformation theory where everything is finite dimensional. Uh, here is uh, you're working in infinite dimensional objects. So, so this, this, this green construction is, uh, is, is, the, is the main art of, of, of many, um, um, constructions in, in geometry, in differential geometry. Make sense?
but but the, 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 the but the point is that you have to you have to you have to guess what do you want to to do before you you start right it's not like you, you just pick it you, the, the the thing is that in algebra geometry you have you have this notion of singular objects uh, where it's very singular right they still fit together as a as as one object but uh, in different geometry because of this uh, different scales they actually they are very Different objects. You have to you have to imagine what what can what can you do to put them together. They are not a, um, a priori one object. Even I mean before you start. Okay. Are there any further questions? Doesn't seem to be the case, so let us uh, break for coffee and resume at uh, 20 past. <laughs>